Hi, it's Jeff with MarineBeam.com. Here we're going to take a look at replacing the tubes in a um, fluorescent fixture that has dual tubes. We're going to concentrate right now on just showing you how to bypass the ballast. If you dig into the inside, you'll find very quickly that there's a ballast somewhere. What I usually do is just pop that out. These can be screwed in. In this case, this is just wire nuts. Um, you'll see you've got um, six wires white wires going to ballast in this case. Sometimes these are blue. We're going to trim all six of those wires. Those are the wires that go to the tombstones on the end of the dual tubes. And then you're going to see we have two more wires here that we're going to clip. That removes the ballast. So basically you have power coming in on the black wire. It goes over to the switch, comes back on this red wire. And so we're going to go ahead and take this wire here and we're going to trim that. Skin it. Oops, glad I didn't knock my camera too bad there. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and put a butt connector on that, which is usually pretty straightforward. So we're just going to crimp that in place. And then, so that's power, and we need power going to the ends of the tubes. You notice we have four wires here for the tubes. Um, we don't need all four, we just need two. I'm going to pick these two center ones and we're going to take power from this red red wire um, to both of those. This particular fixture is a little tough to get the wire strip, so bear with me. Okay, let's do that again. So what I do is I just take these two wires and I twist them together a bit and I basically put them in to the other end of the butt connector here. In this case I'm going to use a different pair of pliers, it's a little easier to get to. So basically now we have power coming from the switch and the red wire going to both ends of the tombstone. I don't require these other two wires that are going to this end of the tombstone so you can leave those be. I usually just leave them just like they are, just cut. You can tape those over, put some dead end connectors on there, etc. Okay, so that takes care of this end of the fixture. So now we've got the two wires here coming back from the other two tombstones. In this case, this end has four wires, the other side just has two wires. And so what we're going to do is we're going to strip both of those just like we did the others. There's one, and there's two, all right, twist those babies together, put on the connector, crimp that in place, and now we just have one wire left which is the return to ground. So basically you've made a Y connection. Show you that real quick here. So the two wires coming back from the other end of the tube go into this butt splice here and we just terminate that by crimping it. And then I take the wires and dress them back nicely. So let me just sort of recap here. So remember we had power coming in the black wire, it goes down to our switch, and you see the switch on the other side here. Um, it comes back from the switch, so we've got switched power. We Y it, meaning we go parallel to the two ends of the tombstones there on this end. Then it, the power goes through both tubes, comes back from these white wires. You can see these white wires come back down the center, they cascade down the center. So we took those two white wires and returned them back to ground. So that's it, basically wide into the two tubes, we wide out back to ground. Close this back up. Now all you need to do is twist out the old tubes and put in the new tubes and you'll be done. So just pull these out, put in the marine beam tubes and voila.